Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I'm going to be playing through Alt Guardian of the Demon Gate or Shura 1 with my Dino plus Araragi team. So basically, the idea is I am poisonous and I want to match poison things. So if I can kill it on this turn, cool. If I don't, it's fine. I have to kill the blue one before it hits me, though, is the goal. Cool It just immediately gets rid of all of them. That's kind of nutty. And kind of cool at the same time. Alrighty, on to the next floor. I have enough to charge up, so I'm fine. So solve Lucifer's test and get going. I'm wondering, like, what's better for me to try and do, like, just show videos of Shura 1 or try and do Shura 3? Because I feel like not many people can do Shura 3, so it might be just kind of, like, not applicable. Don't make a combo. Hey, there's a cross. Does that pattern make sense? No, but I did pass the floor. So my friends inherit came up. That's all that really matters for myself now. I can start blasting with Nergigante now. So I need a board changer because I can't solve a full board of dark. And now I have a board. Bobby Sterity, I only just went live though, to be fair. So I have auto fall of attack. This is partially why I pair like this, because I don't want to think. And at the same time, I don't know many people who would actually have this as a lead up. But then again, I can find people. I have a robust friends list. I feel like I need to start popping Nervigante at some point, but I'm not sure when that point is. Let us transform Sakura. Let's get the better Skyfall going on. I just needed the friend of the Inherit to actually give me um, where my poisons go. It says, now these fills for 14 minute Shura 1s, Rosin for 22 Shura 2s, Oak for 32 Shura 3s. Nice. Yeah, Bobby, I just needed something with a board changer that gave other elements so I could trigger things. So Sakura is transformed, everything looks good. There's a lot of damage on this team, actually. But yeah, like, I'm just curious, like, what do you ladies and gentlemen think? Would it be more meaningful if I were to just try and do more, like, not just, like, Shura 3, please? I think I should be able to punch through. Can I punch through, actually, with this? Maybe not, actually. Okay, Sakura is not needed anytime soon, anyways. What she's there for? Oh, that's a blob, but it doesn't matter. 
Hello, Tyler. Welcome back to the stream. So the poison orbs helped my leader and my one of my subs. Nergante still hits super hard. What a mischievous tackle. And hello, Jake. Welcome back to the stream. How are you today? make VDPs when I think about it. Don't care about your unmatchable, do I? I think I do, at least. Oh, wait. By the way, that's just a win. Let's avoid matching the orbs I need to match. It's okay. Things should die. Like Things don't have that much health here. I agree, Deck. That's what I'm thinking I should try and do. Sure, 3 is all about the same teams over and over again to a certain extent. To a certain extent. But this is good. Like, I need feedback because I can't read minds yet. Still working on that. Ah, oh, whatever. Do -do -do. It'd probably be easier because it takes less effort, for sure. Oh, gotta boot this bot though, you are right. need to find a VDP in here somewhere. Sakura is in five, so I just need to make sure this is ready before I go to the next floor. So all I'm going to do is just wait. Two colors actually triggers activation for me in terms of damage reduction. I just need to make sure that's ready before I go to the soft dip floor. It'll be ready as soon as I find enough Dark Orbs. I was just hoarding Orbs. I can tank a hit without damage reduction, so it's fine. Here, so I'm flying to the next floor. Valley says they just like to watch me play, hear how I think, through reviews and like, specific what you run doesn't matter. Okay, that's good to know as well. So Sakura is in one turn. I'm just gonna kill a Thoth down while I wait. Here we go. Sakura time. Oh, there's no poison orbs. How rude. It's okay. Like, other people can do damage. Smashing success. Clearly the Awoken Binds, won't have any problems. I have an L somewhere, don't I? Wait, do I even- oh yeah, I do have an L in my leaders. Alright, let's match that away. Alright, I actually have 
enough for both of them. Oh, I had an extra water from Oops. Quite confident this is gonna die though. This is why I like auto follow up attack, because I will forget. Hey! I have got a big brain. Look at this leader swap. Take that, Gung Ho. Not today. Not today, Gung Ho. Today I outplay you. And hello, Red Axles. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? I just had a brilliant leader swap. Clear sure one of the old mirror team? Oh gosh. I have to mass attack against all these things. I have no idea if this will even do enough damage. Not that. I think a VDP will do it. If not, I'll just start using Sakura. If this doesn't do it, I'll just use Sakura's active. Never mind, it's good. So Sakura can just keep recharging back in case I need it for the one of the Crusader spawns. That's a big gravity, though. Not fun. Luckily, RCV is strongish. At least because I have buffs present, he will try and dispel things. And I heal pretty well, actually. No RCV damage. Machine killers are still nice, like it just makes it easier if you have them. I don't need a poison L because that doesn't do anything. Can you imagine if you could use poison L's or something along those lines? That'd be so silly. Sakura is in four, so I don't have to even stall that much. Got Nergigante's Skyfall back up. No Skyfalls, no problem. Dark Orbs probably, because the sky falls. Or not. So if it doesn't spawn, I can just start using Sakura repeatedly. Yep, Sakura now is never going to be used for Inherit. This is good. Use her first, use Dino next. It's a little annoying, the order, I guess, of how the orbs are spawned. Poisons are spawned last, I think. Mass attacking. Oh, my Nerd Gigante is delayed. Jake, I believe that's how it would work. not to match every single Dark Orb. There we go. Noble One's Mastery, I will smash you down. Don't 
don't even need Sakura, I don't think. I don't want to lose the Poison Orbs. Ironically, like, losing those Poison Orbs would be a massive de damage loss. So I have quite a bit of VDP damage from my Leader, Sub, and Sakura. It's definitely lots. Damage. Oof, these awoken skills I get a little afraid of. Clear that away. Definitely. I use Nell's weapon and Sakura next, I think. And I'll go for the three shot. Yeah, it's gonna die out. No! My awakenings! What the fish? Well, we're just gonna wait impatiently then. At least I have pretty big RCVs still. That's 300,000 heal. I can kill it as long as I'm not awoken bind, right? Yes! Still no poison orbs though, jeez. It's okay. But I realized it could be light absorbed and I didn't actually get rid of the light absorbed. Whatever. It should be dead. Alrighty. So poison meta is pretty cool. It actually works. Like, it's actually pretty straightforward that I felt. Like, never felt really in danger. I should have just gone smashing right away uh, as soon as I got to the boss. But yeah. Hopefully this video provides you some insight as to what you could use to tackle sure one of a wider variety of teams. Poison meta, I don't think it's going to last that long because so many spawns can interact negatively with it. But for the context of Sure One, so many different teams can actually clear it. So hopefully this provides you with some inspiration as to things you could possibly do. I wish you all the best of luck in your own pad adventures and happy puzzling.